Ohayo. My name is Minomi Toku and welcome to Undertale part 13. Last time we saved Monster Kid and Monster Kid saved us from Undyne, but this would be the last time that somebody or something saved us from encountering Undyne. Now we have to face her head on, so let's just do that. Seven. Seven human souls and King Oscar will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. Did you change your mind? No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell that thing to anybody? Die! Yeah! I can't read that fast. And Undyne took off her helmet and we finally see her face for the first time. You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alpha's history books made me think humans were cool, with their giant robots and flowery swordswoman. But you? You're just a coward, hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy, gaudy, two-shoes chick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! That's right, human! Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone, when everyone puts hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> so we got a safe point here. So let's just save, just... We never know, right? The wind is howling, you fell with determination. Of course, Undyne area. So let's face her. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. And we are green. On guard. That's also... Uh, I, I, I just can't tell you how much I like the soundtrack to this game. Uh, Jack. Attack. 50, defense 20, the heroine that never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape, unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. So we got a shield now, and we just need to fi face in the right direction. Points heroically towards the sky. Um, can we plead? You told Undyne you didn't want to fight. But nothing happened. Not bad. Then how about this? Ding, 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 ding. Good. Smells like sushi. Yeah, it's a fish lady. Of course it smells like sushi. But wait. Sushi, sushi is dead fish. But Undyne's still alive, so... Nah. Let's spare her. For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. And there. For now it's just fairly easy to block her attacks, but not for much longer. And now sunlight is within our grasp. Yep. Still fairly easy. We won't let you snatch it away from us. Yep. Points heroically towards the sky. Still pointing towards the sky. Yeah, enough warming up. 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep calm. And then flips her spear impatiently. I can flee. Escaped. Our little heart just got little legs and we're green again. You won't get away from me this time. Online attacks again. And now I need to eat a unicycle. HP was maxed out. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. And it starts easy again. But it won't stay easy. That's much longer. Towers friendly. No human has ever made it past Asgore. <laughs> oh good gosh, you're trolling me right now. Killing you know is an act of mercy. No, no, no. Ah, I need to pay attention more. <sighs> what thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists? Wow, oh yeah, because she's defending her friends. So stop being so damn resilient. Ah. <laughs> okay, now. Suplex is a huge boulder just because you can. Yeah, why not? Why not? Flee. Let's escape with our little legs. And we're green again. You've escaped from me for the last time. Uh, I don't think so. Alphys told me humans were determined. Yeah. Uh, and yep, those yellow ones, they just switch around. Flips her spear impatiently. I see now what she meant by that. Pay attention to the yellow ones. Yep, there we go. And now she's grinding her teeth. But I'm determined too. Yeah, we got that from your description. Stop. Flashes a menacing smile. <sighs> Determined to end this right now. Oh, crap. Ah, I got hit. Crap. Mm, astronaut food. Wait, that's all I got now? Okay, let's eat the astro food. Your HP was maxed out. Right now. Ah. No, still not that. Still not that. No, no. Mercy. Right now. Okay. Still alive. Still alive. Ha. Ha. Ah, good gosh! Why, why did she abandon her text that suddenly? Why? Are you tired, Undyne? Yeah, die already, you little brat! Ah! Oh well, oh well, get down there. Um, bicycle. Bicycle, I need a bicycle to ride away on top of it. I will never take mercy again. Okay. Good, good, good. Flee. You've escaped. Welcome to Hotland. Ring? No, not now. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking. You, me, and the nine should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Uh, Papyrus, wrong timing. Let's meet up at her house later. Okay, just get away from her. Stop running away! Undyne attacks again. <sighs> now we can just escape. Sons, 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 sons! 
He's just sleeping. Come back here, you little punk. Flee. Okay, if Sans is sleeping, then let's just go here. Hi, Undyne. What's wrong with you? Armor. So hot. But I can't give up. <sighs> oh, poor fish lady. She looks dry. And here's a handy dandy water cooler. Take a cup of water? Yes. You take a cup of water. And let's give that cup of water to her. Give Undyne the water? Yeah, sure. We're a nice human being after all. There you go, Undyne. And she's fit and standing in here right now. Whee! Hi, Undyne. And you just walk away. So yeah, we made it to Hotland actually. And Sans, are you still sleeping? No, he isn't here anymore. So let's take Papyrus's offer and let's go visit Undyne. Remember that house from the last few episodes? I think it was about two episodes ago. I showed you a house, right? Oh, let's save first. There's now a breeze. This gives you the determination. Yep, file save. Thanks. Oh, box? It's a box. Presumably to be pushed. But where to? Nowhere, I guess. Bah. Today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah. There's no art in an actiony, mindless schlock. It's just timing based drivel. Give me something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You, you're young. You've still got hope. <laughs> Here, try solving this block pushing puzzle. Um, what? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Bah, forget it. This generation is really hopeless. Bah, well, here? Bah. Okay then, okay then. Bah, never mind. Yeah, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. You don't want, you don't want me to push the block, but you... But at the same time, you want me to push that box, but nah. We're just fed up with that. So yeah, let's go back to that house. Which should be about here somewhere. Yep. Um, down here, down there. Here, here, here. Yeah, I need to get back all the way. So let's let's just be a little bit patient. But now at least the lanterns shine a little bit longer. Their light onto this world. Mm, I think I could also revisit Tammy Village and like sell some dog residue because my inventory right now is pretty empty. I think I have still about, yeah. Now I, I could sell more of those dog residues, but uh, not just not now. If I do it, then it'll be in between episodes, because I just showed you the base, the basics, and there's nothing much else to it. So here we are. This one. Yep, it's Undyne's house. You guessed right, it's a scary looking fish. Oh, uh -huh. the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Of course we want. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. A bone? Oh well. Knock knock. And the mouth opens. 
Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi there. Hi, I don't think we... If, uh, <clears throat> Why don't you two come in? Whee! Papyrus is really excited. And the dummy is still here. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Um, thanks. I'll, um, put it with the others. Papyrus. No. You don't have any idea. Also, there's a big, big, really, really big sword there. You won't be able to lift that, right? So, are we ready to start? Hoopsie doopsie, I just remembered I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. Bye. Don't shatter windows just like that. So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face. To humiliate me even further. Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes, never with you. Let's just say yes. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you were my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We are not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much. You won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's a perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? And now we have all the happy music. We. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? And here's actually a piano. One time Alpha's um, friend came over. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. No, oh, well. What about that big ass sword over here? Humans suck, but their history kinda rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans will its sword swords up to ten times their size, right? I think you watched too many TV series because no one would be able to wield such a sword. Well, you might uh, you might be able to carry it around, but as soon as you want to draw it, nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> you liar. I've read Alpha's human history book collection. I know all about your giant swords, your colossal alien fighting robots, your supernatural princesses. Ha! <laughs> There's no way you're gonna fool me. Okay, well then, let's take a seat, I guess. Sit down and progress. Yep. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Open the fridge. Lie out the ingredients. All set. What do you like? <laughs> Yee! Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Mm, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. <laughs> Aim with arrows and select with Z. 
Sugar, goes in tea, selector C. Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate, green cylinder. And tea box, blatantly correct choice. Uh, actually, I have some tea here also. So let's select tea also because it's a blatantly correct choice. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Don't burn it. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. There we go. Okay, it's all done. And... We have some tea here. Here we are. Thanks for the tea. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Thanks, Undyne. So what do we do now? Um, hey, you know, it's kind of strange you choose that tea. Golden flower tea. Oh. Golden flower tea? Does that remind you of someone? That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. Well, thanks for the compliment. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single hit on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the royal guard. So I am the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like uh, Papyrus. I hope he didn't hear that. But um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him that I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's what? He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look. He was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. True that, true that, Undyne. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know. Oh, you can cook? So um, maybe he can do something else of his life. Oh. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I still have some, but thanks. I'll get you some more. Yes, please, give me some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. And there we go, knocking everything down. That's right, nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Oh, smack. 
Let's start with the sauce. There we go. Ingredients. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong. Ha! You pound the vegetable at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah! Whoa, they're online. Holy cow. You, um, how are you gonna clean that up afterwards? I mean, your face and your clothes and your kitchen. Oh well, oh well. Uh, we'll just grab this into a bowl later. But for now, let's cook. We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. Oh wait. So that's why Papyrus loves spaghetti so much. Because you taught him how to cook spaghetti. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Nyaaaaaah. Hmm. I just put them into the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can. Including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. Alright. Now it's time to steer the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you steer, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Let's steer it. Steer harder. 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 Come on. Um, let me do it. Um. Yeah, <laughs> that's the stuff. And I, um, I think you broke the pot. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Okay, let's turn up the heat. More, more, harder, harder, harder! Darn it, harder! Um, I think your house is gonna burn down. Uh, let me do it. See, this is how you. I think you just. Yeah. <laughs> ah, man! No wonder papyrus sucks at cooking. Um So what's next? Scrapbooking, friendship bracelets? <laughs> um and then I think um your kitchen is um a little hot, maybe. Oh who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that, that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. <laughs> really? Really? Oh, Undyne. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now, come on, hit me with all you've got. Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Um, let's just fake an attack. You pretend to swing your at Undyne with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Okay, you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. Oh, Undyne. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine stick. But the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. 
No, I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You are a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Yeah, so we're the same as Asgore then, huh? Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Good idea. Oh, the fish is crying. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, um, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So, if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give, give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to you. Well, see you later, punk. Bye, Undyne. Oh, poor... F Sounds like only fire lives in here now. Poor fish. Poor fish. So that was our encounter with Van Dyne. And we feel a calming tranquility again. Which fills us with determination. So wow. This was some adventure with Van Dyne. So I guess... <coughs> okay, I think my voice is definitely failing right now. So thanks everybody so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay determined folks. Us.